Hello, how you doing? I'm talking about this, how illegals cheat the government. Now, look, I know about this. I've been living, uh, illegals surround me all four corners, okay? I know what they do, okay? I haven't seen one that works every day, that works for a living. I haven't seen one. They are all narco traffickers. I haven't seen one that works, okay? And welfare cheats and narco traffickers. That's all I've seen. I have not seen one that works for a living, not one. Uh, the main source of income is narco trafficking. A lot of them pay their uh, house houses off in less than ten years just by narco trafficking alone. Uh, they have no food problems because someone in their household is getting well big welfare check, all kinds of food stamps. So there's no food problem at all. <laughs> okay, so they can take the narco trafficking money and buy all kinds of uh, expensive cars and trucks. They cheat to get a house. They they cheat on the loan application. They'll say they're making sixty thousand dollars a year to qualify for such and such a house, and they're not making that kind of money. They just get one of their friends to say, "Look, they're a restaurant manager, so therefore they cheat." Okay, they cheat to get the house, cheat to stay in the house, and they rent a room to one of the one of their uh, relatives, one of their welfare relatives, eleven hundred dollars a month. So therefore, the government pay them eleven hundred dollars per month to rent a room to one of their welfare daughters or cousins or whatever. So they $1,100 pays the mortgage. That's cheating because you're not supposed to rent to a relative in Section 8 or whatever, this housing subsidy the government has. You're not supposed to uh, rent to relatives, but they do it all the time. They rent to their daughters, the fat daughters on welfare. She getting if She, she has uh, three children, so that means she's getting $900 in welfare plus herself $1,200 in food stamps. And her fat butt is on welfare. She got a car. Well able to work. But she's on welfare with her fat self. Getting all that food stamps. Uh, they cheat to buy a house. They cheat on the application. They cheat to stay in the house. The whole culture is cheating. The whole culture is cheating the government. Hustling the government. They would get welfare benefits from uh, North Carolina, Virginia, and Tennessee at the same time, and then go to Pennsylvania and get welfare benefits because the government has no system of checks and balances. So they can get welfare benefits from four different states, plenty of welfare queens, plenty of them. Okay, now what the Central Americans do, they follow the welfare. They know which state has the most generous welfare benefits. They know that. So they go to the state with the most generous welfare benefits. Okay, so they can get they get benefits from four different states. North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Philadelphia, okay, and Pennsylvania. They get welfare from four different states because the government has no checks and balances. The government should have a fingerprint system. Um, they cheat their jobs. If they own a business, they don't pay FICA taxes on the employees. They give the employees, employees cash, okay? Uh, they don't pay FICA taxes, state taxes, or anything else. You know, they have 101 ways to cheat the government. And the government doesn't know the difference. I, I mean, I know, I know uh, one one uh, Central American family. They've been uh, moving drugs for eight years. The government doesn't know the difference. But look, the black people that were moved with narco traffic, they caught them in thirty days, and they they're like down the street. They caught them in thirty days. But the Mexicans, the narco, the Central American narco traffic, they've been doing it for eight years. Haven't haven't even remotely caught them. Okay, <laughs> so uh, they can. And, and then there's another one in my neighborhood. He'd been he'd been moving drugs for 20 years. Okay, so uh, the government doesn't know the difference. Have a nice day.